So what I'm going to show you here is the power of search that combined with SharePoint Online really makes this a great collaboration tool. So what I've done is I've come to my SharePoint team site and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at a document library. So when I go to a document library I get my normal list of files there but you'll also see up the top here I have a little search box. So if I go in there and I type the term that I'm searching for you'll see that I get returned with a match to this file called hello world. Now this search box here searches just this document library so again to clear the search I just hit the X so I can again keep using this box here to search this document library. Now if I want to search everything that's in this team site I go up into the top right here into the search box here and if I type exactly the same term here what you'll see is I will now search everything in that team site. So this will not locate not only my documents but also a match here in because it's inside the document library. So what I've moved from is searching just my uh, documents in the library to now searching my whole team site. Now over here on the left you can see that we can refine our search by selecting things like words. So I only want to see a word document. You can see that I can refine it by author and I can also refine it by date by changing this slider if I want. Down the bottom here you'll see that I have an, uh, an option here to alert me. So if I select that what that allows me to do basically is to set up an alert so that when any changes to this or when a new item is indexed that matches the search that I've just uh, entered I'll be sent an email letting me know that a new item has appeared or has been found in my team site. So very quick and handy if you're running the same search over and over and over. Now what we've now searched is basically the document library, we've also searched the team site but SharePoint Online can be composed of many many team sites and many many different site collections so what I can do here is if you look at the search box I can pull this down and I can now select an option here to search everything so this is going to search across all my site collections everything that I have access to now remember that search in SharePoint Online is security trim so what that means is is that you will not be able to see results for things you don't have access to so even if they are there um, if you don't have access to them they won't pop up so you'll see here that I have a file that does match this search that I can again mouse over it and I will see an Outlook uh, Office Online display of that file so I can check and see what it is. You'll see again that I can go through um, all the different items here that match and on the left hand side again you'll notice that I have the ability to refine my searches down to just Excel files and for example if I change the year slider you'll see that I can come down to that single file that I'm after. Once again down the bottom I have the option here to alert me as we did before but you'll now see that I have an advanced option. So this advanced search allows me to go in and refine and be more specific about the information that I'm looking for. So again, this is available when you search through everything, which includes not only the team site that you are currently on. Now, at the moment I'm searching everything, but for example, I might want to search people, just people that match this search. So at this stage, there's no people that match that search term. But if I go and look at my conversations, what you'll see is that because I've had a basically a microfeed here where people have been talking and having discussions in the team site, you'll notice one of them mentioned the search terms and that is now being displayed. And if I have access, I can now click on the view the conversation. That will take me directly to that location. So I hope you can see that search within SharePoint is very very powerful. Again use the search at the right location. So if you're just looking for something in a document library use the search there. If you're using uh, looking for something in a team site use the search in the top right hand corner. But don't forget that you can pull down the option here when you come to search and you can select the option to search for everything. So that will give you the results across everything that you have access to. Thank you very much for watching this video.